Hey everyone, it's Christy and today I'm doing an unboxing and somewhat a review of the December Glossy Box. Um, I already received it yesterday and I've already tried out a few of the things so I can kind of give you my opinion at the same time as revealing what I have in my box. So it's right here as you can see it comes with a little magazine and I know a lot of people say they could care less about it. I actually like it. It's a nice little touch. I love reading magazines and it's not the best magazine but they have picked it up like every month I notice it gets better and gets a little bit more interesting into reading so um, it's it's very nice I mean they show like the newest trends and so forth so definitely I, I appreciate it even though a lot of people may not but I do and so this month they had a really cute wrapping as you can see it has like the little gingerbreads and candy canes and the wreaths and little presents and so forth. And I love the color. Very gorgeous. And this one, they did the little cards a little different. Usually it's just like a little index card, but this one actually opens up and tells you everything that's in there. It's a monthly subscription for $21 a month. And it does... Um, come with deluxe size samples and also of, um, some full size products usually like one full size product per box so let's go ahead and I will go ahead and show you everything that we have in here so the first thing and I'll go off the list to make it easy so the first thing we have is the Forest Essential Luxurious um, Sayurveda so it is a bath and shower oil with Mandurai Jasmine and Mogra and I did try this out on my, um, after my shower today. And it smelled really good. My daughter came and cuddled up with me and told me, Mommy, you smell so good. And I really like that. So, and it smells like really nice jasmine, kind of like jasmine rice. Um, some of the other products of jasmine can smell a little, um, I guess, synthetic, not very natural. And that one has a nice smell. It's not overpowering. The next thing I have in here is the Heartland Fragrance Co. with the bath salts and mine came in white ginger. And this is, it smells really nice. I probably will use it for, I like to take um, foot soaps. I'm not a big bath person, but I will definitely try this out. I had white ginger, I think ginger is actually a really good detoxifier. So we'll see if that helps with anything, but Epsom salt is a really good thing for that. So looking forward to trying that out. The next thing we have is Mark. It's the Lip Click. And that is actually, before I bring that to you, it is an Powerment Petal. And so Mark is basically, I believe it's from Avon. But I am wearing it. I'm trying it out. And I like it. It feels very conditioning and it feels nice. It's not drying on the lips. And it doesn't feel to have that cakey line that I tend to sometimes get when I work. Um, I do a lot of talking when I'm working. And this seems to work very nicely. And it's a be very beautiful color. It shows up a little bit more nude on the camera than it does on my lips. But the nice thing about this, it's got a cute packaging and the little lipstick is a magnet so no losing your lids here <laughs> I know I lose them have in my here purse. is the fragrance please please and it's actually for, and it's from easy Miyaki and it's a very nice feminine fresh um, I would say probably a little bit of floral and fruity but very light and it's from easy Miyaki so if you're familiar with easy Miyaki they he the designer tends to Put in a nice fresh light scent it's not something that's going to be overwhelming and so this is more of a spring scent i would say it's really going to be really good for probably in the next like around march coming out it is so new that there's not a lot of information on it sephora doesn't have it yet and they do carry ismi yaki products but this not yet so when i was trying to find the notes you know i was doing my research and i couldn't find any of the like what kind of floral or what kind of scents are in it doesn't say on here doesn't say on here either it just describes it as a fashion forward fragrance inspired inspired by world renowned designer Izzy Miyake's iconic pleats um 
And that's, it just says uh, the essence of joy, femininity, and elegance. That's about it. So, I was, but it does smell really good. I like it. It's a really nice, pretty one. The next thing we have is a little Wella packet right here. It's a amplifier style primer. So it kind of seems very similar to, um, you know, the new Living Proof. They just came out with the first primer ever. So I think maybe this is taking in their steps. Basically, you'll put this on your hair when it's wet and it's supposed to hold and just kind of prepare your hair and hold any of the styles, kind of protect it as well. So, um, yeah, it's basically just helps with the, um, improves the manageability and amplifies control for smooth, responsive styling. And it'll probably hold it longer too. And it's not sticky or anything. At least the Living Proof one isn't. And then the next item we have is the Zoya nail polish, which is pretty cool. Except for the fact that I just bought this color, I would say, I think like, two weeks ago so um, th this is a color in my nails so this color right here is just one coat so you can see it's really sheer the other ones are sorry it's a little messy nail job but the other one is so it's got a little specks of gold blues a little bit of pinks in there it's really pretty it would be great to go with another nail polish it almost looks like granite or you know like a really dark stone crystallized stone it's pretty but it doesn't have a lot of shine to it so you would want to use a good nice shiny top coat just to kind of bring it out more and the next thing I have in here which I was really surprised to see is the jewel mint necklace right there so as you can see it's a really cute little jewel and it's got a little vial to it so you can open it and I don't know what I'd put in here maybe spray some perfume in here and maybe like wear it around and touch up if I ever need to but it's really cute I used to subscribe to Jewel Mint but I haven't been able to it's like $29.99 a month for them and they have great really cute jewelry but the thing is with that for me it's just kind of expensive I have I mean, I subscribe to these other boxes, so I prioritize, and I'm like, well, I kind of like cosmetics better than jewelry. I like jewelry, but um, not as much as I like cosmetics. But this is really cute. I could definitely see myself wearing it, and it was a pleasant surprise to see in there. And it came in a cute little bag. And that is it for my glossy box. And I hope you enjoyed watching the video. And next week I am actually going to be doing a December's favorites and my empties all in the same week. And I'm going to be having another video of the Pop Sugar one. So anyways, but I was really excited to share the Jewel Mint one because I saw so many other people had their videos and they had other jewelries. And I just really wanted to show what I had in mind first. Anyways, well everybody have a wonderful evening and thank you for watching.